What's cracking everyone? Hope you're all doing well and good on this way day eve. Um, what's cracking? I was watching Transformers the other day and that's what Jazz says when he transforms for the first time. So actually he says what's cracking little bitches, but I thought that was mildly inappropriate. So I decided not to use the full uh, epithet. But anyway, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I picked the wrong time to start filming this video, didn't I? Because this T-junction is awful enough at the best of times and it's really busy at the moment. He says just as he gets a clear spot. Anyway, it's Way Day. Um, I don't really have a Way Day update because whilst I have been to Way Day, it is, uh, I did a blind weigh in. So, cause I've not had the greatest week and I put two pounds on last week and I just thought, you know what? I really don't need to see another gain on the scale or even a maintain. Um, I just wanted to kind of feel half decent about myself. Um, so I, I blind weigh, so I have absolutely no idea what that's the proper dad run you've just done across that road then. That was hilarious. Uh, I don't have a proper proper weighing update. Um, what I do have though, is the news that finally, after about three weeks of saying that I was going to, I actually joined a local gym. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's a fairly decent one. It's like 17 quid a month or something. And you can, there's no contracts, so you can cancel it whenever you want, which is pretty good. So I thought I'd give it a month while while it was a bit quieter at work over the summer, while I'm in and out on holiday and stuff like that, I figured I'd give it a go. And if I didn't like it come, you know, early to mid-September, I didn't have to go for a second month. But I had an induction day last night. Um, so yeah, it could be, could be a good one. Uh, I got a gig tomorrow night in Nottingham. Uh, I've potentially got a gig on Sunday. So it's gonna be a little bit hit and miss um, doing that over the next few days. However, um, sorry, there's an ambulance. Can you hear the siren? It's going very slow, like we're all waiting. Why are you going so slow? You've got your sirens on and you're going slower than me and I was stationary. Uh, that doesn't work, but you know, anyway. Um, not that I'm criticizing an ambulance, by the way. I'm not, I wasn't trying, that didn't come across like uh, the ambulance was inconveniencing me at all. It was just, it had its sirens on, but it just didn't seem to be going very fast at all, that was all. So if there's somebody clinging to life in the back of the ambulance, I'd be mightily upset if that was me. Anyway, I've joined a gym. Um, <clears throat> some of you might have noticed that in that montage video I did a few months ago now, um, it didn't look like I was in a public gym. I wasn't. Uh, my, my dad's kind of got a little gym set up at his house, um, which is great, but at the same time, despite the fact that it's like less than 10 miles from my workplace to my mum and dad's house, I have to drive through not only the outskirts of the town that I work in, but the town that I, my mum and dad live in as well. And it can take anywhere from 20 minutes on a good day to like an hour on a really bad day if I catch rush hour traffic. So if I leave work at five-ish or half five, which is probably in the first few weeks of September, what's gonna happen, but I tag it to their house at half past six, it just, I haven't got that level of commitment right now. If I thought if I could get started and do a month or so at a gym, that's fine. There's another flashing light there, looks like someone's been pulled over, man. What a shining endorsement for the village I live in, or the town I live in, this has been. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I've joined a gym. You stay there. Okay, that might have been my fault slightly, but um, I had more than enough time and he was coming very fast, so yeah, it's negligible really. Uh, so no way in, I've joined a gym there, so hopefully, uh, that's about the fourth time I've said that. Let's just see, I just figured why not? It was 17 quid for a month. I don't have to go for a second month if I don't want to. Let's just try it and see what happens. I've got a gig tomorrow, so I can't do tomorrow, but Saturday morning, I'm gonna be there. I may even do a little bit of filming if I don't feel like really self-conscious. Um, but that's the plan. I'm gonna hopefully see, I've realized that it's been a year now. It was this time last year that I hit Target right before we went to uh, America on holiday. So it's been a year, give or take a week or two from getting back that I've been out of Target. I got out of Target literally the day after I got back from America and weighed in or whatever it was. So it's been a year now that I've been out of Target, which sickens me because I always said, once I hit 12 and a half stone, which was my target, that I would never ever go back. And here I am a stone at least, if not more later, having put back on over the last year and, and pretty much done nothing productive in the last eight, nine months. Um, I, that really, really annoys me because I've done everything that I said I, I wasn't gonna do. But that's why I've joined a gym, so we'll see. Uh, give it a month, see what happens. Hopefully we'll see a loss on the scales next week. Um, 
and we'll just have to take it from there. So I've parked up at Asda, I might, I don't know what I'm gonna to do tonight. I've got loads of stuff at home, so uh, apart from the essentials, like I need to buy things like yogurts and water and that kind of stuff, so we'll just have to see. So uh, I'm gonna go and pick up some little bits and hopefully next week I will have a really, really good loss on the scales and a really positive week uh, in the gym. So that's it really, not quite the update that I wanted um, or that you might have been expecting, but blind way, gym, out of target for a year, let's get my thing, pull my finger out and just get back on it, I suppose.